So based on what I've seen so far with our blogging in class, I just wanted to give you guys a couple of reminders about how to use this blog and what it is meant for. So in our classroom, our blog is a place for you to share your thoughts and creative writing whenever you choose to. So if you were at home or um, anywhere and you feel like updating your blog, writing about something that you're experiencing at the moment or something you experienced in that day, by all means, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, it's a place where you'll be asked to respond to what we're working on in class. So like we did with the destructors, I might have you read a story and respond to that story um, using, you know, always proper grammar, spelling, punctuation, etc. Um, responding to what we're reading or working on in class. It's a place to have formal discussion. So it's a place for you to interact with your classmates as you would in small groups in the classroom, but this is just sort of another forum for that type of discussion. And it's a place to agree and disagree respectfully, and respectfully is the key word. We always want to make sure that even if we do disagree with some, what someone says, that we're being respectful about it. And finally, it's a place where we always try our best to use correct spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Our blog is not a place where we are disrespectful. That is never acceptable. Um, disrespect towards myself or towards your fellow classmates will not be tolerated and you will be asked to hand write blog entries instead of typing them on your blog which is something that I know none of you really want to do so please maintain your respect at all times. Um, it's not a place where it's okay to make fun of each other or each other's work so telling somebody that their paragraph stinks or um, being nasty in general is unacceptable it's not helpful and it doesn't make me very happy. It's not a forum for social networking, so things like making plans and um, you know excluding people or um, you know interacting socially with one another. This is not the forum for that. There are plenty of forums for that on the internet, and I'm totally okay with you guys using those outside of the classroom. But this is not a forum for social networking. Um, it's a forum for for our own learning. And it's not a place where we can use text message language to communicate. You know what I mean, dude? I see a whole lot of this on the blog right now. And um, it's not really a place for that. It's an academic type of writing, even though you do have a whole lot of freedom. Um, I still expect that you will remember to use standard English conventions. So I just want to show you a couple of examples um, of a really well-written open response and some comments and what I'm looking for. First of all, um, this person's blog has a title that connects with what it is that we're doing in class. So her title is The Destructor's Open Response. And if you notice, every um, first letter of every word is capitalized. So Isabel did a nice job titling this selection. She has an introduction sentence, a topic sentence that um, introduces her ideas. Okay. Um, she has her quotations are introduced with her own words. So this conversation takes place on page 178. Then she gives us the quote, and then she comments after the quote. You can see that Mr. Thomas is growing fonder of Trevor and his friends and trusted them enough to tell them that they could come over and play on Saturdays. So we have um, the quote sandwiched between her own words, which is exactly what you're supposed to do. And um, she also has a concluding sentence, which you can't see here on the screen, um, but it is there and it is effective. She has a concluding sentence that wraps up her ideas. So if you're interested in that, check out her blog. Um, here's an example of a couple of really well-written quotes and a nice interaction between two writers. So this writer says, I disagree with the first part of your essay very respectfully. Okay, I think that Trevor would have to have an extremely twisted mind to be able to plot out such a thing. So basically this individual is responding in a way that is constructive and that is respectful even though she disagrees. Okay, and then um, Sam responded to her comment um, with her own kind of rebuttal in a, in a respectful way, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And here's an example of what um, I'm not looking for for quotes. Okay, very good job, totally agree, dude. Okay, there's no information there telling us why that person agrees, what that person agrees with, um, and then the response is, yeah, dude, okay, um, 
obviously it's not a very informative response. We want to make sure that anytime we're commenting, especially on the posts that I'm asking you to do in response to literature, that we do a nice job explaining what we agree with, why we agree with it, and that we're using um, non-silly text message dude dudette language. Okay? So um, when you go back to your blog, I just want you to keep these things in mind, and you're more than welcome to watch this video anytime you need to.